Hi, I'm Paul Grakowski. I'm a senior manager responsible for the PCIe Verification IP here at Synopsys. Today I'm going to talk to you about how we can accelerate debug of your PCI Express environment using our VIP. So, first off, our model is system Verilog based. And more than that, it's not completely encrypted. So it's actually a gray box model where you can look inside just going beyond the signal interface. You can look inside and see many key signals and how they're operating. This is great when you want to pull it into your waveform viewer. Also, there are, is the case where we do get deeper in the model and it is encrypted, but at that point what we've done is taken the key signals and states that would be important to you and we've made them ASCII strings. We bring them up and out of the model and you can bring them straight into your waveform viewer and look at them alongside all of the other signals. This is great, for instance, if you want to look at the current LTSSM state inside the model, you want to look and see how items are programmed in, in terms of different delays and, and things of that nature. So you get a lot of visibility and um, it, it really is helpful when you're doing your debug. The next thing I'd like to talk about is our logging options. So with the model, of course, we have a standard log that gets dumped out with uh, all the details that you would like. But we also have a couple of consolidated logs that make it a little easier to pinpoint in on issues. First is a transaction log, and that, that enables you to take kind of a view from like a bus analyzer. Everything is consolidated into a single line. You can quickly follow the traffic and the associated completions that come along with it. We also provide a symbol log. Symbol log enables you to see the symbols as they're happening on all the lanes of the bus. And on top of that, it also follows LTSSM state, so you can really track along with everything as it's going along. And then finally, we have the integration with the protocol analyzer, which I'm actually going to be talking to you about on the next couple of slides. The protocol analyzer enables you to look at the PCI Express in terms of its actual transactions. So it's a great transaction viewer that you can look at as a, alongside with your waveforms to be able to debug everything. So let's start with Protocol Analyzer, just looking at it without the waveforms. It gives you a lot of information in one screen. On this side, you can see your, basically your design hierarchy or from, from the VIP side. And then we also have all the different packets that are running. One thing that's really great about it is when there's an error that's detected, it gets highlighted in red flags so you can see all the details about that particular error. We also have the log file read in down here. And what's unique about this is when we read in the log file, we color code the different severity levels of messages, and we enable you to quickly follow through them. So all these red lines are errors in the, in the simulation, so you can quickly grab that and zoom in. Also, what can be done is these windows can be linked together, so as you move in time up here, the log file also is updated. Now, at any particular time, if you want to take a look at a transaction and drill down into its details, all of that is shown over in this pane here. So, and this type uh, is just a configuration write, but the things you can see are like the bus number, device number, the function that's being written, all the different information that is pertinent to that information. Everything that would actually be available to you um, that inside of the simulation. So when the time comes, let's say you're debugging an error, and you found this particular error. You've drilled down, and you kind of looked at it, and you know there's an issue here. The next thing you want to do is actually correlate that to waveforms. So you can go ahead and open the waveform viewer from within Verdi Protocol Analyzer, and it'll pull up and auto-populate the signals. And then not only that, it will take this particular signal that, I'm sorry, transaction that you're looking at, and it will highlight that in time over here. You can, again, make these work together in, in synchro synchronously. And by, as you move in here, this will also update. So it basically keeps the time sync available between the two. Very handy for drilling down into these deep issues. So for more information, please go to synopsis.com slash VIP. Thank you very much for your time.